Shalom Brothers. This is the Apostle Rakal. Back once again, back up on here. This is called GMS Push Harder. This is my new page. I know brothers been waiting for my videos. Like I said, I was having all kind of technical difficulties, but this is my new page, GMS Push Harder. And the Lord willing, like I said, man, I'm trying to get my videos loaded back up on here so I'll rock this high. Everything should go correct with my vids, man. Um, anyways, um, I just want to bring out one scripture, man. Uh, I'm going to start off by saying first, and before I even get going, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Um, I got the elder I bought here. He's just going to read for me. We just got back in from the camp, okay, and but we still fired up in the spirit, you know what I mean? Uh, basically, man, let say no more. You already know what's going on. Okay, we see everything that's happening now, everything that's going on out here right now. You know, these, this plague, this major plague that the, that, that, that the, the Most High and the Lord then put out here on the earth. This is a very intense, exciting time, brothers, because basically we're almost out of here. America's just about done. The prophecies are just, uh, the pro no, they are happening. And they're happening like lightning fast within a matter of days. And we, we're going to continue to say we told you so. We told you people so. We told you so. According to the scriptures, we told you so. We told you this was going to happen. That's why now people are nervous. People are acting like wild animals, grabbing all the food off the shelves and toilet paper and all this other madness. You know, people are scared. Okay, when this whole thing is nothing but a big scare, this coronavirus thing is going to lead into the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. As we, we've been telling you fools and you idiots, okay? And Trump has already declared, he already said he's going to declare martial law every day. Uh, um, they're shutting down different things, these businesses. The whole country is going to get bankrupt. The government is bankrupt in the whole country. So people are catching hell. People are howling right now, man. They canceled all your sports events. No more. They, everything's on lockdown. Everything's shut down. And we say, Barakatai Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Pretty much the world is shut down. Okay? And that's the scriptures, man. We've been telling you the prophecies. Mind the prophecies. Okay? Mind these prophecies, man. So now we're living in that time. But you know what? With all that, a lot of you people are still going to be rebellious. You're still going to be wicked. You're still not going to want to adhere to the words of the Lord and the Lord's prophets. So with that, that's why the Most High, the Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is going to destroy a lot of you. Ultimately, the majority of you, man. Okay? So I'm just going to read one scripture, a few verses in 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, man. Baba Kushai, my brother, read that. I'm just going to do too much talking. I'm going to get right to the point, and I'll jump in as the elder is reading down and break it down. I just want to get right into it, man. It's like 10 verses. Okay. Powerful, yeah. Con, powerful 10 verses. Yep. Second Ezra 16 and 17. It says, Woe is me. Woe is me. Woe is me, man. This is Ezra's. Because he's looking, he's seeing the vision. He's actually seeing the vision of this prophecy taking place. And he was like, Oh my, oh Lord, oh Lord, have, mer like, have mercy on me. Because, mm -hmm. yo, man, this, this, this is going to happen. This is, woe is me. Woe, Lord, have mercy on me. Go ahead. Who will deliver me in those days? That's right. He's saying, whoa, because Ezra was probably like, well, damn, if, if I'm living during this time, who's going to, it's going to be, it's going to be that bad out here. It's going, it's bad now, but it's going to get worse. Go ahead, brother. It says, uh, the beginning of sorrow. This is just the beginning. You people are freaking out and panicking now over toilet paper and, and, and cleaning supplies and food. The, the, some of these stores, the shelves are bare, but yo, we've been saying this for years. Yeah. yeah. We've been saying this for years, but y'all mocked us, y'all scoffed us, y'all said we just a bunch of crazy niggas on the corner, okay? <coughs> you understand what I'm saying? Right? <coughs> you, did, you did all that. <coughs> you don't want to listen to us? Yeah. Continue, brother. It said, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. Yeah. Okay, well, this is the beginning. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of people who ain't got no food in the house and the shelves are bare and there's no more food going to come in. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there's no more food going to come in. 
supermarkets. No supermarkets more. because they're shutting everything down. No Trump is shutting deliveries. everything. Yeah. No more deliveries. Guess what? Uh, we was just talking about an Uber. They're going to shut down the Uber, so you ain't going to be able to get on Uber Taxi. And, 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 and order food from Uber Eats. Because everything is shutting down. Trump already said everything is shutting down. In Italy, everything is shut down. These other countries shut down. And then they they pretty much already declared martial law. Because mm -hmm. they, pretty much, they told everybody they, they, they don't want people coming out the house. Yep. They want people just pretty much staying in the house. Yeah. The restaurants can only take maybe a certain amount of people. So the restaurants are getting losing money. The NBA, all America, everybody's shut down. They're not allowed to operate. So they're bankrupting everything, man. So this is this is beautiful. Yep, martial law. Martial and, law. And they're shut in their houses. Like in Italy, they got the drones patrolling the sky, making sure your ass stay in the house. That's right. So that's martial law. So the world, this is a global martial law, and all they did was use this coronavirus scare thing. So this is it. But this it, it, this is it. the Lord brought it all in like a one-two punch. Yeah. Everything that we've been prophesying about for the past 30, 40 years. We said it was going to be martial law. We said the cities were going to be shut down according to the scriptures. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. the, you people going to run to the stores, the supermarkets going to... Yo, like my, my mind right now is like a, like a yeah. deck of cards. Like, yeah. wow. Yeah. This is everything we, we told you so. Yeah. And y'all said, well, what about y'all? What y'all going to do? We're going to have faith in the Lord. That's the right. scriptures say the just shall live by faith. Okay. All you, you monkeys, you don't want to accept the truth that you're Israelites. You don't want to accept the truth. Okay about the, the, the name of the Most High and His Son, okay? Y'all want to continue to be rebellious? Well, you're going to get the judgment, which is what you're seeing right now. This is just the surface being scratched. Go ahead, brother. The beginnings of sorrows and great mourners. The beginning of famine and great death. Famine and great death. Famine. The shelves are bare in these supermarkets because people are running, grabbing all the food like wild animals. Cause they wanna, but eventually when that food runs out, how long can that last? Even though you went and stocked up your whole house, yeah. eventually you're gonna run out. You're gonna run out, and there's gonna be no more to, to get. So it's gonna be a famine. We've been yeah. saying it was gonna be a famine here in America, all over the world. People just so, in yeah. great death because a lot of people are gonna die because this so-called virus, <coughs> whatever. Mm -hmm. If that don't take you out, then when they bring the troops, because they already deployed. They said they're deploying the National Guard to several states. Yeah. <coughs> several states. Mm -hmm. So that's the stormtroopers, man. Yeah. So they're going to start killing. People going to be <coughs> going to be deaf. Yeah. <coughs> Eventually, you people are going to start yeah, 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 reverting to cannibalism. Yeah, a lot of you going to revolt, re revolt or resort to cannibalism. Because yeah. if you can't eat, you know, look at the way they're acting, fighting over toilet paper in the supermarkets. So if you can't get some food, especially as greedy as niggas and Latinos are, Especially you big fat cow women. Yeah, you're gonna turn into zombies. You're gonna turn into the well that the zombie apocalypse. We're yeah. gonna start eating people. Yep. Go ahead, brother. And your kids gonna be starving. Go ahead, man. It says the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars. The beginning of wars. That's what it's gonna be. Yeah. Cause the, uh, the 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 soldiers and the troops are gonna come in, and people are gonna revolt against them. Or they're gonna be wanting to get food mm -hmm. or get supplies they need. And it's also <coughs> the international wars. Because in the midst of all this, uh, the tensions between America, Russia, Iran, those tensions, they, see, they're using this as a, a, a blocking agent so you don't think about other major issues that's going on. Yeah. All the tensions between NATO, okay, is, is all that's still there. That's building. Iran still went up shooting missiles on America. Then you got Cuba, then you got all the other Arab countries, all that still. Oh, because coronavirus, that's going away? No. See? So the wars between these different countries, man, that's going to escalate ultimately to the nuclear war. With that, and that's game over, which that could be soon. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that could be soon. Okay? Yo, man, just this week, you watch. And there's no going back. This is major. This has never happened. Mm -hmm. They canceled the St. Paddy's Day Parade. They canceled the, the, uh, all sports, all events, everything. Canceled schools. After 258 canceled schools, after 258 years, the St. Patrick's Day Parade is being canceled. And that's a major white man Edomite event. Yep. They don't care. They canceled that. 
cancel schools. They you niggas, you niggas, y'all can't watch your basketball, your sports. That's it. Everything is shut down. You can't work. You can't. A lot of y'all can't work. Businesses, uh, people working from home. Yeah. You know, because they. That's can't, it. You can't. They made uh, laws that you can't have more uh, than about five hundred people congregating. Yeah. And then they're even saying, even in your house, you can only have so many people in your house. Mm -hmm. So they're confining everybody. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. It says, and the powers shall stand in fear. That's right, meaning the elites of the society, this government, they're standing in fear. The reason they're rushing and scrambling now, doing things, because they spotted that so-called giant UFO in space. So, And they know, the elites know that that's the chariots of the Most High. Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh they know that the, the angelic forces, the thunder beams are coming back to destroy them, man, put them in slavery. So they're in fear, so that's why they're scrambling, trying to the put their plans together, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, brother. It says, uh, the beginning of evils, what shall I do? The beginning of evils. We are in the beginning of evils right now. Mm -hmm. You see, all these different events that's taking place right now. Yep. People are starving. So-called people are dropping dead from this coronavirus, which we think is just really a scare, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. The money's dirty. So they're going to say, look, we can't use paper money no more because... You know, it's, it's because of the germs and of the virus, so we're going to have to do away with the paper money and go to cashless society, which hence, boom, is that chip. you got to have the chip. And vaccinations. And vaccinations, which they're going to implement that chip in you. Yep. And the scripture says that no man may buy or sell, at least he had to mark the chip. Because they're going to say, don't worry about it. If you got, uh, um, let's say, $10,000 in the bank, that money will all be credited to your chip. Yeah, you understand. Healthcare will be free, and we'll give you the yeah. vaccinations for free. <coughs> but you got to get the chip. <coughs> That's why Trump had the uh, the press conference today. He's, he's like, I I guarantee free vaccinations for all Americans. Mm -hmm. You know. That's right. And you people are gonna be so desperate. You're gonna you people are gonna be so desperate. You're gonna willingly. A lot of you guys are gonna willingly take the chip. The ones of you who made buck, then boom, you're gonna be detained and thrown in the detention center. Which your local wall, because everything is shut down now. So now oh, the places Walmart. are empty. Yeah, they're Walmart, saying they're clearing them out. They're clearing them out. So Walmart, uh, CVS's. Uh, Home Depot, CVS's, yep. these schools are yep. going to become detention centers, man. That's right. Which this is all stuff we've been talking about. Okay. Go ahead, brother. It says, the beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? That's right. What we're going to do is have faith in Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. The Lord said, look. You, you shall be hungry, but my servant shall eat. Yeah. So it's one way or another, yeah. the Lord going to take care of us, man. We're going to have faith in the Lord and continue to push the word out as long as we can. Yes. Until they shut the internet down or they, we can't go in the streets. We're just going to be praying to the Lord. And, and just, uh, that's it, praying to the Lord mm -hmm. and maintaining our faith. Whatever the Lord or however the Lord is going to have us, man. Mm -hmm. yep. <coughs> go ahead. Um, Behold, famine and plague. Famine, the famine again. Famine and plague. That's here now. That's here. That's happening right as we speak. Yep. Famine, because you people, a lot of people, because you, you, these monsters went in there and grabbed up all the food and stuff, emptied out a lot of these stores. So there's right now a lot of people that were poor that didn't have, they're starving right now. Even now, people are hungry because of this and the plague, this coronavirus. They're saying the different pockets of people. This one guy that's here, that's that's a plague. But really, there's a lot of other viruses and shit going on that's really killing people. And they'll blame it on coronavirus. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. Tribulation and anguish. Tribulation and anguish. That's, people are freaking out, nervous. This is the tribulation, the fear of catching this virus that you might die. And anguish. Yep. People don't got the necessities they need. A lot of these women, they're not going to be able to get their... Toiletries, mm -hmm. their their feminine products, yeah. whatever it is, or your medication, you might not be able to get. If you want medication, you might not be able to get your medication. All of that, man. Whatever it is, you like. Oh, your weed. A lot of y'all like to smoke. You may not be able to get no smoke. Remember, people are. I don't know. You might have the coronavirus. Everything's gonna be shut down. A lot of people you can't move around like you want to. So like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, so-called right now, things are still functioning, but you can see every, it's, it's, it's empty out there. It's crazy. Society is crumbling down. It's crumbling. This world. Like um, the, gear, the gears, you know, like you have gears yep. to a machine. The gears are, are, are being uh, clogged up, man. Yep. According to the scriptures, we told y'all that society was going to break down. And ultimately, it's going to be destroyed, man. 
Go ahead, yeah. brother. Time of Jacob's trouble, man. This is the time of Jacob's trouble. Go ahead, brother. Says, Tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. You know, so all of these, all of these mm -hmm. tribulations, and um, and stuff, and these plagues and stuff, they're sent from the Most High Himself. Yahweh That's Shai. right. That's right. The Most High Himself, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is that ultimate death angel. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai is working. He's this is this is the spirit of Yahweh Shai out here working. Those four angels of destruction to be uh, pretty much the Most High is letting them loose. Yep. Revelation seven. Yeah. That's right. He said, but for all which you spoke about in Revelation seven. Yep. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Even though all this wickedness or, or the judgment of the Lord, mm -hmm. the prophecies are taking place, a lot of people are getting fucked up all over the world by this thing. And you still got, like I said, these happy male heads out here, like at the camp tonight. You still got fools, certain little fools walking by making little remarks or people still being rebellious, still... To, still don't want to repent. You're going to still got people being wicked as all hell. Even though all the prophecies are happening, they, they know it. They see what's happening, but they're still going to be rebellious and wicked as hell. You yeah. see? Read on, brother. He says, <clears throat> but for all these things. And, that, and that's predominantly Israel. That's what the Most High said. Yeah. Yeah. My people are stiff necked, hard hearted. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Only thing is death or some real extreme suffering. But even that, some people don't repent from their ways. So the only remedy for that is a, for a hard-head nigga is death. Right. Okay? Go ahead, brother. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Even though all this is happening, even now, it's going to get worse. A lot of people and still are going to be wicked. They're going to still be wicked. It said, nor, nor always be mindful of the scourges. The scourges, these, these, the, 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 these things that are happening. Yeah. Coronavirus, they're shutting everything down. People don't got food. Certain people are dropping dead. They're going to put everything on lockdown. Those scourges, man. Yep. <laughs> yep. You see? It says, behold, victuals shall be sold good cheap upon earth. That's right. That's why now the gas prices are low as hell. Yeah. Certain things. Yep. See, they're going to drop the, but like Trump is done. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm waving this. I'm waving. Yep. So certain people are thinking this is a good thing. Because mm -hmm. the gas price, I didn't the gas prices it's this cheap in a while. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. We just came from Massachusetts. It was 200 no, $2. I'm, I'm saying two hundred. So like it, it, was, a, it was two dollars a gallon up there in Springfield where we just came from. Yeah. Here it's like two thirty or two twenty something in certain areas. Yeah. The gas ain't been this cheap in years. Yeah. And certain other items that okay, Trump was saying, look, I'm waving this, I'm cutting. Yeah. So oh, that looks so good. Maybe yeah. this yeah. might help the economy. That stimulus, yeah, yeah. That stimulus yeah. thing. Yeah. So oh, wow, wow. And Trump said, look, you better not price gouge. You better sell the things cheap for people mm -hmm. so the victuals are being sold cheap now. Because yep. Trump told these people, look, we're going to come down on you mm -hmm. if uh, we find out you're trying to price gouge people in this at this time. Yep. So victuals are being sold cheap now. Yep. So people are, okay, well, that's a goal. Maybe mm -hmm. don't, everything's going to be okay. Yep. That's the prophecy, man. Go ahead, brother. So that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Yeah, so certain people are saying, well, no, this is a good thing. We're going to pull out of it. It just, you know, yeah, it'll blow over. Yep. We're going to be okay. Look at that. Things we're, are cheap. We're Americans. We're Americans. This yeah. thing will blow over and we'll be okay. It's going to be okay. Go ahead, brother. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. <laughs> Sword, famine, and great confusion. Sword? The, fa the third time famine yeah. is mentioned. Yep. So, yo, famine, you people are going to be starving. It ain't, I don't give a fuck. You went and packed and wrapped up your basement and your closets. That food is going to get eaten. You're going to go through that food. Or well, somebody might try to break in your house and kill you and take your food. That's going to be happening, man. Because mm -hmm. if, if, if the people, look at how they get, they get crazy. So if they know the guy next door got food and this, that, the third, they're going to invade your home to kill you. That's why the gun sales are going up. Yep. People, they're saying, hey, you better have a rock. It's going to get crazy. Yeah. Yo, like your worst nightmares are going to come true. Mm -hmm. And then they always used to get on us because we, we mentioned movies. But this is it. This is happening. The Book of Eli. Yep. The road, the road. Uh, 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 that movie Contagion. Contagion. With, yep. This is happening. Outbreak. 